Breaking news from the USC football practice. Head coach Clay Helton announced that redshirt freshman Darnold will be the new starting quarterback against Utah Friday night. Helton said that he's looking to bring a spark to the offense and thinks that Darnold will provide that. The Trojans, now led by Darnold, will head out to Utah Friday night for another ranked matchup. USC looks to improve on the little things that make a huge difference. Simple mistakes like missed coverage can cause big problems. Marvell Tell didn't block Christian McCaffrey and he got a 56-yard touchdown. The strong run gains were negated by incompleted pass plays, which leaves the Trojan offense without an identity. Head coach Clay Helton continues to preach the run game, but it gets confusing when successful run plays are followed by three and out passing plays. The team continued to shoot themselves in the foot in the first half with five false starts, including three on one drive. We end up having those seven penalties in, in the first half, which creates some you know, third and long situations where uh, it felt like they did a very nice job of being third and two, third and three, third and four. We're sitting there at third and six, third and eight, you, you know, and that, I think that's the biggest thing, Dan, is eliminating the errors that are killing us, um, and, th and that's penalties in this football game. USC will face undefeated number 24 in Salt Lake City. The Utes will recognize former defensive tackle Stevie Tuvika Lovatu, who transferred to Troy from Utah just this season. Over in the pool, the number two ranked men's water polo team brought their coach, Jovan Vavik, his 500th win. The Trojans handed the Cardinal their first loss of the season on Saturday with a score of 8-4. The defense shut out their hosts in the first and third periods to help clinch their win. And while the Trojans allowed more than three goals for the first time this season, the offense made up for it with its explosiveness. As a team, collectively, um, defensively we're fantastic again and it's something that we're going to pride ourselves this season is our defense. Offensively, we'll like to you know, make the most of a couple more opportunities that we created and finish those and also some of our passing. Um, we had a few too many bad passes that we'd like to fix up for the NorCal tournament next weekend. The Trojans are headed to Berkeley this weekend for the MPSF Invitational. And now it's time for my pick of the week. We're heading back to football. The loss this week was tough, but there was a bright spot, Adoree Jackson. Check out why he's my pick of the week. Stanford quarterback Ryan Burns underthrew a pass to his receiver in the fourth quarter of the game on Saturday. And Adore Jackson was right there to get his second interception of his career. Let's look at that in slow motion. Oh, the amazing height on his jump, and he was right there to grab the ball out of thin air. And one more time up at full speed. Good for Adore. That was such a great play on his part. Right? Kind of incredible, but I still can't get over the fact that Sam is going to be starting this weekend. Thanks, Alexa. Thank you.